Hello beautiful Pisces. Welcome. My name is Esti and I am here to do an intuitive energy reading for you for the month of November 2019 or whenever you are attracted to watch this video is when you need to hear the messages regarding your current soul assignments that you're presented by uh, that you're presented with by the universe. Um, so this is good for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus for November 2019. Uh, please keep in mind this may or may not resonate with you as this is a general reading. If it doesn't resonate, you're welcome to watch um, your other signs like say for example if you're watching this for your Sun sign you're welcome to have a look at your uh, Moon, Rising or Venus. Um, and I'm sure there will be some messages that resonate with you. Thank you so much for all the like, likes, shares, subscribes, comments, emails, messages. Um, it means a lot to me. Thank you um, so much for letting me know that this is of service to you. Um, because that is why I'm doing this. Because I was shown that this is the way to be of true service for me at this time, in this lifetime. Um, so why I do these type of readings also, soul study and um, reading into the um, soul assignments that you're being presented with at the moment is because, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> sorry, is because um, I was shown that um, it's a great way to support you to show up fully for the assignments because when you do that you speed up karma and you speed up um, dealing with um, the learning curves, the learning cycles um, for yourself as well as for the collective believe it or not, want it or not, know it or not your every learning and everything um, karma clearing and shadow clearing and shadow work that you are doing, you're doing it not only for yourself but for the collective as well since we are all connected. That's scientifically proven, I'm not gonna go into it. Um, further explanation to why I'm doing the readings the way I'm doing them is um, in a, a video, an entire video I recorded for just for this to explain why this way. Um, it's called Why Soul Study Readings and it's linked down below in the description box. So if this um, reading wouldn't resonate with you, please also feel free to visit my website um, and book a personal reading with me. Information for that is down below in the description box also. All right, um, let's get into this um, Pisces. Um, sorry, it looks like something's going on um, with the um, upper airways um, here and here. Um, might be her sick or something because this wasn't there before. <laughs> My deep eyes is you are dealing with some um, uh, mild um, allergy I'm getting or um, or some just minor um, cold man flu. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I couldn't could miss that. Um, I hope not. I hope not, but uh, yeah, that's in the energy, it feels like. Because this wasn't there before <laughs> at all. I was fine before I started your reading. It was all fine. Okay, so I set the intention that Mother, Father, Creator and Spirit Guides and Angels and Solar Angel are present with us for the time of this reading. And they guide my mind, my thoughts, my words and my hands so that we bring through the messages that the people attracted to watch this video most need to hear at this time regarding their current soul assignments in, um, in the sign of Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of November 2019. Thank you. Alright, let's see. What is going on with you, Pisces? What is going on? Whoa. Okay, they just showed me something when the card didn't come out. Okay. 
the peacock. Let's see what else will Pisces. Wait, interesting, a nightingale. Mm, all up in the air. And that's what they showed me before. Okay. Another one or two, please, for Pisces. to give you more okay there we go the moth wow all up in the air that's what they showed me and um, when I was meditating when I was getting connected in your with your energy um, the energy that I got was um, just being all over the place, sort of. Okay, one more, please, for Pisces, November. One fire element, the zebra. So, Pisces, all up the, the energy that I'm getting is all up in the air and uh, like in the head space, like being in your mind, being in your mental body, like thinking a lot, like just all up in the air kind of feeling. And being all over the place, like like some uh, sort of quite a quick energy, but um, and it's not grounded, and it's like <laughs> I don't know. That's the feeling, um, especially with the moth as the third air card that we got. Um, so we got two cards <laughs> that are both about external beauty. Um, the zebra. Uh, that came out last so let's start with the peacock so the, the peacock is this um, magical being who can assimilate and digest anything and everything that comes their way and create beauty from it and the nightingale see if see if I get back to this but for now this is it The nightingale, again, uh, another um, air element, so this is the alchemical sign for air, and um, as a soul assignment, as a current soul assignment, this is um, communicating your truth, communicating your truth, like whatever it is that um, seems like... Um, you are assimilating and working with uh, one is um, this card I'm getting quite um, like a transformation but sort of a, in a mild way like it's an it's not a not like a major deal but it's something like you're in your head about something a lot and then this card is um, communicating your your truth uh, but not in um, not in this way. So because the moth is the energy of being blind or being blinded by 
what you think is that what you think is beneficial for you what you think that you want what really uh, seems like um, that's going to be good for you and you go for it like blindly or even spe like speaking blindly like speaking without thinking um, and and then burning yourself and then with the moth there is also an energy of um, like gluttony like um, indulging or could be the two together um, in the indulging in whatever you think is the truth um, and then getting burned um, rather than rather than you know stopping and thinking But, uh, you know, what's good about the moth is that they, they, they immediately see the light in everything. Definitely, like, um, I'm getting, you know, really seeing the light immediately in everything, like clarity. But, like, that's when, that's when this energy is in balance. Well, when it's when this is not in balance that's when you speak and then you burn yourself and it seems like they're saying that um the the current um the current soul assignment in the month of november could be to think before you speak so seeing clearly seeing clearly yes but and then you know just take it in like assimilate like Think about it first before you before you speak, uh, bef and and definitely speak your truth. Definitely, yes, yes, do speak your truth. Th that's why this card is here. But just they're they're saying, you know, don't speak your truth blindly. I think. And then we end on the zebra. Um, and the zebra is uh. Um, like another card of uh, you know external beauty because the peacock is really really beautiful um, and like I said um, assimilating like almost anything that you meet on your path and being able to digest so like this is um, the card of resilience and creating beauty from whatever it is that comes your way um, and so, like I said, this is all up, up in the headspace, head headspace, like, um, in, oh, okay, so I'm, I'm they're, they're saying some of you will, will have, like, blue hair this month, some, somebody, somebody up in here is, is gonna have blue turquoise gray hair, okay, <laughs> um, that's cool, and, um, and then, uh, so the, sort of like how you come out of this um, this current soul lesson of um, so the sequence of the card cards was like that and so how you where you are going towards um, with this current soul lesson <laughs> is um, enjoying attention because the zebra is like um, this energy, this creature is um, like really uh, like a show off, um, exhibitionist, uh, enjoys the att attention, enjoys being in the center of attention, and just I'm getting, you know, um, like not the just not the wrong kind of attention. Uh, but you definitely. When you speak your truth this month, you will get seen, and you will see also, because um, you know the this zebra. So it's like the third eye perception, like um, relying on your intuition, turning on your third eye, turning on your uh, your instinct of seeing the truth, um, and. I would say communicating it in in such a way that you see and you are seeing and you are seen 
it's a little bit still on the surface but but there is like this third eye you know um there is i'm feeling there is so much truth in what you're saying just i'm getting just uh, you know um slow down like think before you speak basically um Sorry, one second. Just let me just take this in. I'm looking. Oh, okay. Um, saying saying the truth to yourself. Like, uh, be real. Like, as a soul assignment, it would be learning to be real with yourself. Learning to be truthful with yourself, first of all. Because that's where it really, really matters. You know, anything and everything is between you and God. Although I don't like using that word because there's so much meaning added into it all through the centuries by people. So I would say it's between you and the universe or creator or a great spirit whatever you want to call it it's like being truthful with yourself not pretending in front of yourself like tell the truth to yourself don't be asleep to your truth like yeah being i'm getting um being awake especially with this one being awake to your own truth and telling the truth to yourself like about and i'm also getting getting a feeling um something like being truthful to yourself about what really makes you happy what really really makes you happy and once you are you want once you tell the truth to yourself and you see, you are willing to see clearly what it is that really truly makes you happy. Then uh, there is like, I'm feeling like this change of direction, like a new, like a new direction, like going into, you're going to go maybe take a new direction in, in some way. Uh, regarding your self-expression, like how you show up in the world and also in front of yourself as well so like see seeing and being seen outwards and inwards so like seeing and being seen by yourself to seeing yourself and being seen by yourself so it's in a way it's like um uh, like creating a new relationship with yourself which is <laughs> is it can be weird like like who is it that uh, is aware of that you are because like you know you know you always say i we, we say i but then we know that that there is i so so who's the one that's knowing that there is i like if you can you know just stop now and get present to like there is a little voice in your head that might be uh, forming opinions about what i'm saying so get aware of the little voice and then get aware who is the one that's aware of the little voice in your head that is the one that's watching that is awareness that is consciousness that is the presence that's that if you follow it if you listen to it can lead you to the core of your being and that is what where the road leads where the soul assignment is at this time in november to listen listen within and when you listen to that awareness 
and when you be awake to that then it's easier to speak your truth to the world and firstly to yourself and and to see and to be seen to be aware of that i am presence that's beyond the eye like the one that's listening to the one that's watching everything that's happening in your life the one that's aware of the little voice in your head and um, and to sit with that and be, become awake to that it seems like and by the way also that is the way out of the all over energy because that's the energy that i was getting especially with the moth you know like how the how they are when they see light and they are like and then and then they burn themselves and that's the energy that i was getting in before i before i pulled the cards before like before i sat down before when i was meditating on your energy that was the energy that i was getting like this like up in the air all sort of like all over the place like thinking about many things um like like mentally being really busy thinking about a million different things and the, the way out of that is actually to like become present to the one that's watching the one that's listening the one that's aware okay uh, uh, I'm not being uh, drawn to the tarot at this time but um, they are guiding me a lot towards the um, angel messages so let's see what what the angels have to say to add to that for Pisces November soul assignments 2019 oh it's such a beautiful card you got the law of attraction. Let's see. Maybe another one or two. Let's see. Beautiful Pisces. Where is your playfulness this month? It's a dark time of the year, isn't it? November. So gloomy. So dark. We are after, um, you know, the time has changed. I mean, we are back onto uh, winter time, which means it's getting dark so early. No, it doesn't resonate. They fell out, but they fell out not face up, so... Um, Yeah, and just really, because Pisces, normally you're like so upbeat and like sort of happy and fun. And in this energy, I'm really missing that. Like this um, upbeatness, the, the high energy of Pisces. Oh, there's two more. Hmm, okay, and they they were face up, so that's cool. Um, I think that is the the energy that... When you are not so balanced, it turns into this um, restlessness and um, just being all over the place, like not focused, like thinking about a million, a million things at the same time, being mentally busy. I'm feeling you, Pisces. Oh, and I think, okay, so they are telling you the way out of this energy. So the such beautiful cards. I love them. Focus on service. You see, she's sitting on a unicorn. That's you. That's you, Pisces. Little angel. Little fairy angel. And acceptance. So, let me just read these to you. Law of Attraction. Each thought is an investment that pays immediate dividends, so invest wisely. 
You have the power to choose your thoughts and align them with love, peace and harmony. At your request, we will gladly attune your energies to higher frequencies. So they are saying if you are not really communicating with your 5D folks, it's time to start communicating with them. If you are communicating with them, this is just a reminder that you, there is the law of free will in this 3D reality. They cannot intervene unless you ask them to because of the law of free will. It's your free will. So if you want that they intervene, they will, but, then, but you have to ask for it. Otherwise, they, they are not allowed. They can't. Like your 5D folks, I mean your spirit guides and angels and ancestors that may still hang around or your higher self or uh, whatever you want to call that right your um your soul um your soul family like whatever you want to call that right your 5d folks <laughs> the 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 helping hands from the other side could be just your higher self could be that you believe in that the universe is conscious so then that's what you're supposed to be talking to and if you haven't been then it's time to start to tune into that and when I first um, held this card as it came out in the reading, I was just really like, oh yeah, well that's kind of what I was sort of talking about. Not, not really, not uh, not straight, but um, you know, the being present in the moment with your inner self, with the consciousness that is everything that happens in your life. It, it, it sort of happens in the perception it happens in that consciousness and the law of attraction works really really much faster when you can be present in the present moment and why that is important is because the brain you know just speaks all the time there's just so much noise and when we identify with that, whatever's going on in our mind space, firstly, then we are just being run by the ego, which is nothing wrong with it. The ego. We love the ego. The ego is useful. And, you know, and there is there is a point to, to it, to its existence. So nothing wrong with the ego. But when you can be present in the moment and you know just be present to the awareness that you are imagine like when you throw a pebble into uh, into stormy waters it doesn't make much of a difference but when you throw a pebble into a very very um silent quiet lake the the ripples will go all the way to the shore you can watch them for ages and it's very very vis visible the mind works the same way when you want to use when you want to use the law of attraction when you want to create something when you want to attract something to yourself in your life when you when you pop a thought into um, a quiet lake of the mind that will cause ripples but when your mind is all over the place law of attraction for it it's really hard to work so i'll read it again each thought is an investment that pays immediate dividends so invest wisely you have the power to choose your thoughts and align them with love peace and harmony so that's another one with the moth energy of being all over the place in your mind space they are telling you, you have the power and you do have the power to choose your thoughts and align them with love, peace and harmony. You are the infinite chooser. You can be responsible for your thoughts. Why? Because your thoughts give you your feelings and your feelings give you your vibration. And if you're in a high vibrational state, having thoughts and feelings of peace, love and harmony then that's what you create more of. That's the law of attraction, really. Like, And, and by the way, uh, what else um, is giving you your vibration is like pretty much everything. What you think, how you feel, what you wear, what your words are, what you're watching, 
what you're eating, what you're drinking, where you live, who are the people that you surround yourself with. All of that is influencing your vibration and you can be responsible for that. And when and so and what is this about vibration? You might ask if you haven't heard about this, there is um, um so everything in the universe is vibration, energy vibrating at different speeds. And the higher the vibration, the closer you are to being your true nature, embodying your true nature, which is that we were created in the mirror image of the of the creator. Um, so lower vibrating energies are they are slowing you down. So then creation is harder because the vibration is slow when the vibration is slow. It's it's really dense. Reality reality gets really dense, and so like for example, um, just uh, like this desk is simply um, ma um, energy that vibrates much slower than, for instance, water or air. So that's why it's more solid. It's dense. So understand vibration like this. And then there's a scale of um, vibration, like every feeling has their own vibration. By the way, every number has their own vibration. Every material has their own vibration. So, um, and, then, oh, and then low vibrational, dense, heavy energies are fear, shame, guilt, sadness, um, hopelessness, and so on. And there is a scale of vibration. Um, I don't have it right now, but you can look it up. Sadly, I can't show you, but there is. Um, they, they, they can actually measure the um, how much energy vibrates per second or per minute or whatever, like the wavelength of those when a human feels those feelings, like your energy field, uh, your the electromagnetic field generated by the brain, the heart and the blood circulation, literally the wavelength of the vibration like s shortens, like speeds up when you feel contentment, gratitude, love, joy and so on and so forth. You can look up the scale of scale of emotional scale of vibration, like in scale of emotional vibration. I'll try and put a link in the description box below just to show you what um, I think of. Wow, this is like a really long message just from this one card. And see how this angel is like in the middle of the forest and all the wild animals are attracted to her. I don't know if you can see. See like there is a, a wolf and a panther, maybe, like some kind of big cat, a fox, she's holding a deer. Like when you stay present, when your mind, when you can, not even your mind, because your mind will always talk, but just when you're, you can be like, stop you you can when you can be present in the moment this is what happens you'll start attracting things things that you want and things that you think of yes yeah, so like i said at your request we will gladly attune your energies to higher frequencies so just ask for help and they will help focus on service your soul desires only to joyfully serve and to swim in a constant stream of bliss this stream continuously feeds you everything you need. Put your entire focus upon staying in this stream of giving and receiving in every situation and in all that you do. So this is maybe the other thing about this month um, regarding your soul assignment. Pisces. Um, for now, just to know that your soul desires only to joyfully serve. 
Woo, it's a, it would be a very long, would take a long time to get into this. But maybe it's enough to know about this card and this message that we are born into the 3D reality to serve the collective, to serve all. Like there's a purpose that our soul serves. And it is, ultimately, it is to serve all service. But what is that? Like ultimately, it is... To expand, to experience, like we are born and life is such that stuff happens, we are here for the ride, but the point of the universe, the universe's will, the, the nature of the universe, the law of the universe, the basic law of the universe is expansion, learning, expansion, learning. So they are saying focus on service, like what is your service? What is your service that you can provide for the benefit of all in the way that only you can do it? Maybe it's a time to quiet your mind or just be, stay present and that's also something that happens the more and more you are present with your the, your awareness the more and more you can be present in the moment the more and more you can meditate the more likely it is that you will discover what is your true service to all and that your soul desires that and in this day and age what's happening is that many people are being woken up to what is their soul path what is their soul um service their true service that they came here to earth to to accomplish to do like your mission work and so they are saying that maybe this is the month when you you start to discover that and it is service but it's unique to each one of us it's unique to each incarnation what the individual will do in the 3d reality to to complete the mission that we bring through from the soul level i could talk so much more about this but it would take a long time which i don't have right now acceptance see yourself and others through the eyes of the angels with unconditional love and acceptance in this way you inspire and lift everyone to their highest potential Yes, because the way that you see other people literally creates reality. That's another thing that is scientific, scientifically proven that your focus, your attention, your observe, what you choose to observe, your focus, your attention, what you choose to observe creates reality, literally. So like, it's like, you know, when you look for stuff, you'll find it. If you look for malice in a person, you will find it. If you look for love in them, you will find it. And sometimes, maybe they're saying, sometimes it's hard to accept things. But again, um, I'm getting like this, um, the, I'm sorry, there was a message when I was reading and I didn't say it. And now I can't remember what they were saying. I'll read it again, maybe it will come back. Acceptance. See yourself and others through the eyes of the angels with uncondi unconditional love and acceptance. Right, so, like, that uh, this to see yourself and others from the eyes of unconditional love definitely will get you out of this energy. Um, and lead you on a way out of um, blindness like in a it, blindness it, it's not in a bad way but the moth energy is like this uh, like just seeing something like even if it's oh this is what I need to say or 
this is what I need to do or this is what I want or you know whatever and then just going for it without thinking or, or in this case speaking without thinking and maybe what comes first is acceptance and um, and then and then when you speak it will be from who you truly are and start and then you will start to show up in the physical reality as who you truly are all right pisces that's been your reading it is my intention my prayer and my hope sincere hope that this has been of true service to you and that you have you have been able to take something away for yourself from this if you like this reading please do uh, hit the like button and share with your friends and subscribe to the channel it really means the world to the channel at this stage um, hit the bell for notifications of uploads and i really hope to see you soon thank you so much for visiting my channel namaste and aho to all our relations bye